In this video, we'll be looking at section 2.4, Infinite Limits, problem number 11. Uh, so problem number 11 has to do with this graph that you see here. Uh, and on this graph, you can see that we have two vertical asymptotes. We have a vertical asymptote at negative 2, and we have a vertical asymptote at 3. Uh, and given that we have these two vertical asymptotes and the graph involved, we want to find these six limits. So let's take a look at each one of these individually and see what we've got. So the first limit that we'd like to look at is we want to look at the limit as x goes to negative 2 from the left of h of x. So negative 2 is the x value here where we have this uh, vertical asymptote. And we want to approach negative 2 from the left side. So from the left side, we're coming at negative 2. And as we come towards negative 2 from the left, we're getting closer and closer from the left side. And you can see that this graph is heading off to negative infinity. So we would say that the limit as x goes to negative 2 from the left of h of x is negative infinity. All right. Uh, part B asks same question, except this time where x is approaching negative 2 from the right side. So instead of coming at this asymptote from the left, we're coming at it from the right. So we're heading down this direction, getting closer and closer from the right. And you can see the y values are getting smaller and smaller. They're approaching negative infinity. So the limit as x goes to negative 2 from the right is also negative infinity. And since the limit as x goes to negative 2 from the left is the same thing as the limit as x goes to negative 2 from the right, then we can say that the limit as x goes to negative 2 of h of x is, in fact, negative infinity. Okay? Uh, now, let's look at uh, part D. Part D is asking what's the limit as x goes to 3 from the left of h of x. So now we're approaching 3 from the left. So we're moving along the graph towards 3 from the left side. And we can see that the y values are shooting up towards positive infinity. So this is going to be positive infinity. Uh, part E, we're, we've got the limit as x goes to 3 from the right of h of x. So from the right, we're getting moving along this graph from the right, getting closer and closer to 3, it's going down to negative infinity. And finally, part F asks, what's the limit as x goes to 3 of h of x? And that limit exists if these two values in D and E, the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit, are exactly the same. In this case, they're not the same. One's positive infinity, one's negative infinity. So we would say that this guy doesn't equal anything. This limit does not exist. All right, so uh, we were able to figure out left-hand limits and right-hand limits for both of these uh, vertical asymptotes, negative 2 and 3. One of them, the limit does exist because the left-hand limit and right-hand limit agree. One, it does not because they don't. 